In this video lesson, we will learn how to solve quadratic inequalities using the quadratic formula. So, as with quadratic equations, there are two approaches to solving quadratic inequalities. There's the factoring method, which is in a different video lecture, and there's the quadratic formula, which we're about to learn about. So, the simplest way to solve quadratic inequalities is by factoring. But the problem arises when you can't factor certain quadratic equations or inequalities. And for those cases, we can use a quadratic formula. So let's just do an example. Let's say we have x squared minus 4x minus 4 is greater than or equal to 0. So the first step in solving this is actually finding the roots of the equation x squared minus 4x minus 4. Now I'm going to put rewrite our inequality to the side so that we have enough room to do this. So step one. Step one is calculating the roots. So we have x equals 2, and we apply the quadratic equation. If we have x squared minus 4x minus 4 equals 0, then x equals negative negative 4, plus or minus square root of negative 4 squared, minus 4 times 1 times negative 4, all over 2 times 1. Now, to learn how to use the quadratic formula to find the roots of a quadratic equation, you can look at my different video lecture that is specifically about that. But in any case, we can just apply it as we are right now. And when we simplify, so far we're going to be at 4 plus or minus the root of 16 plus 16 over 2. And this is 4 plus or minus the root of 32 over 2, which is also equal to 4 plus or minus the root of 2 times 4 squared. And this is so that we can simplify the root, the square root. And that simplifies the 4 plus or minus 4 root 2 all over 2, which in turn becomes 2 plus or minus 2 root 2. So we have two roots, x equals 2 plus 2 root 2, or x equals 2 minus 2 root 2. All right, so now we have the roots. Where do we go next? So first, let's just draw these roots on the number line because they will play an important role. So here's 2 minus 2 root 2. And there's 2 plus 2 root 2. Now, our parabola w will look like this when we graph it. The parabola of the equation, the function x squared minus 4x minus 4. In general, we have two options. Either this parabola opens up or down. In our case, we know it opens up because we have a positive coefficient for the x squared term. It's just x squared. If it was negative x squared, everything would be different. So we know it opens up, and that means that it's greater than 0 on the outside of the roots. So on the number line, I'm highlighting the portion outside of the roots. And since we want greater than or equal to 0, we include these two roots. So we have two intervals. And notice these intervals are very conveniently related to the roots. It's just x greater than or equal to 2 plus 2 root 2, or x less than or equal to 2 minus 2 root 2. Written in interval notation, this would be negative infinity 
comma 2 minus 2 root 2 all with open parentheses or 2 plus 2 root 2 comma infinity except when we write an in interval notation the word or becomes a capital U the symbol for union so now we just box our final answer which is in the correct format I hope this video lecture has been helpful to you thank you for watching